All right, Evan Ginsberg back with another edition of Evan Ginsberg's Legends TV. And the theme music you just heard was by my buddy, Rapper Cooley. Hi, I just want to do a shout out to him. And speaking of buddies, I have my friend, poet John Winnell, co-hosting, as well as Sissy Gamash, who's an actress and TV hostess in her own right. Yes. And we have hip-hop artist and TV personality Angel Rodriguez as well. And before we get to Angel, John, the uh, spring is upon us, yet it isn't upon us. How does that affect the poet? Well, it feels like winter. Still, yeah. still feels like winter, and, and uh, it's been a tough winter. Tough winter. So, you know, we're, we're wishing, praying for the sun. There Once you go. Flowers. That sounds like a poem right there, praying for the sun. Yeah. <laughs> And, and Sissy, what's yes. been happening with the Sissy Gamash show over oh, we're, Manhattan we're Neighborhood busy. Network? We're pretty busy. We're pretty busy. I went to the theater two weeks ago to interview Austin Pendleton again because he's doing the Sharon Tate in Heaven. So I'm sending my love to Jen and Lisa Raymond and Austin. They're absolutely amazing. The Mississippi Mud um, production company. And tomorrow I'm going to have, well, next Friday, we're going to air that interview. And then I'm going to be interviewing these girls who are, by the way, are amazing. Uh, they are writing and doing their own show called Hot Mess. It's a kind of like a Sex in the City mm -hmm. kind of deal, but like, like really funny. Mm -hmm. So uh, these girls are so funny, and they're naturals. So we just gonna, I'm busy. We're busy editing, mm -hmm. working. You know, each one of us, we're doing what we're doing. Was I the mm -hmm. only guy in America hooked on Sex in the City? <laughs> I love that <laughs> show. I do. As shallow as they, they, they were. What kills me <laughs> like, Sex in the City, you see all these chicks walking by on Fifth Avenue. Like people who live in New York, who live here, study and work here. Trust me, we know it's a different life. It's not so much glamour, it's not so many high heels and all that. This is about reality, about struggle, paying bills, paying mortgages, dealing with crazy wives. Yeah, she had like, right. the, she had like the largest <laughs> apartment in the world, right, on Sex in the City. Who on yeah. earth? That's so on, right? I know, it's just me. I, I, never, yeah. I, never, I never saw the show. Never saw, never saw the show, you don't know what you're Consider missing, yourself man. lucky. Uh, no, it's a good show. It's a great show. I'm should, sure it was great. I just never, I didn't have cable, so I couldn't. You know, how can you live without cable? I, I have it, it now. I have it now. You have it now? I have cable now. Okay, that's good. When? Since better, when? Better late than never. Better late than never. <laughs> and speaking of cable, we're going to see a brief clip from the Sissy Gamacho. Let's see what Sissy does. Hi, my name is Sissy Gamacho. I'm an actor slash um, uh, playwright. I love to write and I love to have fun. Uh, hey, George. How do you produce a show? My glasses, my notes, my, my phone, and that's it. Should be. <coughs> Eric is coming for sure. We get everything, right? People don't tend to come here. They want to be like a, like a Jay Leno. Like I said, I want to have a stage with a screen. I said, guys, let's be realistic. This is public access. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing. Are we okay? Francisco, coming in. I bring people who got different voices different talents. They want to share it. They want to talk about it. That's what I do. Good evening, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. I love actors. I love singers, dancers, photographers, writers. I have Francisco Fuertes here, an exquisite actor. Uh, he's here tonight. We're going to talk about acting. According to Sonia Moore, my teacher, she says that's the goal of every actor, to reincarnate yourself into somebody else. We're talking about the best of the yeah, best. Yeah. Uh, Glenda Jackson, of course. or Emma Thompson, cool. or Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. I can keep on and on and on, guys. <laughs> These, when they go, they just feel that connection. They connect. Yeah. It, it's and a it feeling is. that you, you can't do anything else. We mix it up, and it's fun. It's a half-hour show, and it goes really fast. I like to keep it simple. And that's pretty much what it is. I think the bottom line is I like to have fun. All right, and that was Sissy Gamash in action. What'd you but think, that Sissy? Was, well, that was such an old clip. I thought that you were, were going to show like different ones with all the interviews that I had done. You know, fighters and you know different people, actors and people from the actor studio. Link Coin. I told you I'm going to be interviewing Link Coin on Tuesday night. So that was one of the first clips that I had. We put it together. I said, "Oh, Sissy, you know what? What the hell? Do you mind?" If we do a little clip, ah, I don't mind. You know, I'm free as a bird. <laughs> okay, okay. What can I tell you? But I tell you, it was a little nerve-wracking to see my hair that way. Was, oh, yeah. oh, wait a great. second. What I'm, people yeah. ask me. Like a bird of paradise. Like a bird of yeah. What are you on? Yeah. I want to have what you're having, what I'm having. There you go. But anyway, that, thank that you. energy is definitely contagious. Yeah, Sissy's got some energy, boy. So speaking of energy, Angel, you're a poet, you're a columnist, you're a musician, a hip-hop artist. Tell us about yourself. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like a 
I try to put a line out to everything, you know. I've done everything from network television, hip hop music, writing, military. I try to I'm just trying to be diverse because I, I you know you know they say you never know what, what you're gonna be when you grow up. I'm yeah. still trying to figure it out. Okay. Do I wanna be an actor? Yeah. Do I wanna be a musician? Do I so I try to do everything that I want to do. Or you I'm just want to be, or you angel. Maybe you just want to be a lover. I am a lover. You yeah. say? <laughs> yeah. That's what you're trying. He's kind of like, oh, what are you talking yeah. about? We're not allowed to talk about sex, are we? That's, that's, oh, that's, 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 that's a right? given. So. Uh, now he's blushing. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's blushing, too. <laughs> and Angel, you've recently done cooking shows. What's that, what's that all about? I, I run a site called uh -huh. nyctalking.com, and... Um, I do a lot of restaurant reviews, I mm. do uh, artist reviews, I do a little bit of everything on there. And because of that, I was invited to a, a network show on HLN called Cook Your, Cook Your <coughs> Off. Okay. Um, oh, wow. And, um, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I got to eat amazing dishes, and um, it's actually been kind of like the jump start for me to get actually healthy, because it was a healthy theme show. Mm. So, so you weren't cooking pierogies and... And no. blintzes, I guess. No, it was sir. It was Are you allergic to any food? <laughs> Not that I'm aware of. You can eat anything you want? Yes. Wow. I can. Right. But I ate too much of anything that I want, and I kind of got a little unhealthy. And right. um, that show was kind of like the jump start to get me back towards getting my health on track. Okay. So it was a lot of fun. And, you know, being in front of millions of people kind of gives you a little motivation to get your act together. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I like your energy too. You're not in drugs, right? You're clean. No, man, I'm yeah, right. 100%. Cool. I'm just checking. I'm doing my homework. I'm, I'm sorry. writing. You're high right here. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just dumb. I got to do that. And, and Angel, tell us a little about your musical influences. We're going to hear your music later. My, my music is, is, well, I love hip hop. I love rock. I, I, I do everything. Um, everything you're going to hear t today was a poem at some point. Mm -hmm. And um, it's all coming from experiences in my life. It, um, it's not necessarily influenced by anyone because it is my own life experience, what you will hear. Okay. I'll be doing a song for, for my mom. We're doing the whole um, woman's history. So today I'll Women be... Women in History Month. To, today yeah, I'll be doing... That right? song That's right, March, March yeah. <laughs> so all the songs oh, are geared that. towards that. No wonder Everything why it was such a today. difficult month. Oh. Oh. I take a, I take oh. a hit of that. The viewers my turn birth. on the poet. <laughs> yeah. We might, have to, no, we might have to change my, seats no, here. My birthday was we, March 27th, one we, day after Tennessee Williams' birthday. Happy we birthday. love women. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yes, happy now birthday. you're hurting my feelings, John. Happy birthday. We, we, you see, now I'm not going to take yeah. you home. We, 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 no, <laughs> no we, we love women. We, we do. We, I know you guys do. do. Men are do. the same, no matter where you go. Let it state for the record that this gentleman speaks for himself. That's right. And that's why you don't weird. love women? <laughs> no, no, no. That's not the part I'm referencing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, um, we're going to hear the music of Angel Rodriguez later in the show. We're going to hear the poetry of John Winnell later in the show. Uh, please give out all your contact information. Um, for me, it's John Winnell, J O N W I N E L L, at yahoo.com. So you can contact me. And I, if you like the work, we'll get in touch. Or at Facebook, I'm at Facebook. Uh, John Winnell, same J O N W I N E L L at Facebook. There you go. And Sissy, Facebook. tell us Some about the say, show. I don't do Facebook. No, I do Facebook. I have four different pages, damn it. It's important. <laughs> uh, it's important. Yes, it is. It is. No, you go just to the website, the SissyGamashShow.com. You can spell Gamash. Gamash. Uh, G A M A C H E. You can Google me, see me. It's a bunch of interviews over the years. Quite a few people. It's fun. I don't have Twitter yet. I'm not yeah, into Twitter. I'm not into a little bird, board. man. Get I have to get into that little bird. Yeah, get on board. It's important I to have tweet. to get on board, but I'm on Facebook, uh, and yeah. I like yeah. when people tweet their condolences when their dear friend dies, 140 characters or less. How classy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An angel. Well, um, seeing as though today I'll be doing music, you can find me on arod.org. That's my music website, and everything, all my sites connect one, one to another. So uh, it's uh, arod.org. There you go. Pretty and cool. And folks, we will be right back with blues great Lucius Spiller. Don't go anywhere. For nearly a decade, Evan Ginsberg's Legends Radio has featured interviews with the greatest names in the arts and sports. 
Heard worldwide at legendsradio.net. The program has featured these great musical legends. Ray Manzarek of the Doors, Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins, Judy Collins, Roberta Flack, and many more. Stars from movies, TV, and comedy have included Jenny McCarthy, Wayne Brady, 30 Rock's Judah Friedlander, Shelley Berman, Jackie the Joke Man Martling, David Allen Greer, and Paul Mooney. Stars of pro wrestling and MMA include Bruno Sammartino, Rowdy Roddy Piper, superstar Billy Graham, and Frank Shamrock. Co-hosted by renowned journalist Dr. Mike Leno, Legends Radio is heard Wednesdays, 7 p.m. to 9.20 p.m. Eastern Standard. We are archived 24-7 with hundreds of hours of classic interviews. Legends Radio also features the best in indie music, showcasing talent deserving wider exposure. I'm from Brooklyn, baby. Don't forget the gravy. We are soldiers. <laughs> You missed the birth of your mother and father. Don't you dare miss Evan Ginsberg's Legends Radio. My name is Dr. Robert Brevar. I'm here for Multimedicine in Westbury, New York. We're located at 1065 Old Country Road, Suite 214. Been here for about 15 years. The practice has medical doctors, physical therapists, chiropractors, acupuncturists. We also do pain management and we have orthopedists on staff. Here at Advanced Multimedicine Rehabilitation, we've got physical therapists on staff who treat an array of conditions from neck pain to back pain, shoulder pain. We treat carpal tunnel. We treat a lot of car accident patients, slip and falls. We treat patients with knee injuries, with ankle injuries. We have state-of-the-art equipment. We've been here for over we do 15 years. vast array of diagnostic testing from x-rays to EMGs. What is an EMG? It's a diagnostic test that allows a doctor to determine where the pinched nerve is. Cora is a physical therapist at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. She's working on Stephanie, who was involved recently in an automobile accident. Stephanie has tight thoracic and cervical musculature, and Cora is doing some myofascial release work and some therapeutic stretching doing it to help her with her pain. Vicki is also a patient here at Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Vicki is now working her leg muscles, specifically her quadricep muscles, trying to strengthen them after an injury she sustained. find yourself in need of any type of physical therapy, please don't hesitate to call Advanced Multimedicine and Rehabilitation. Located in Westbury, New York, in Suite 214. Phone number is 516-334-7000 or find us on our website at advancedmultimedicine.com. We are back with Legends TV, and he is from a royal music family. His uncle is Magic Sam. He's related to Eddie the Chief Clearwater, great showman. I love Eddie. And he is Lucius Spiller joining us today on Legends TV. How are you today, yeah, sir? Fine, thank you, sir. There you go. And how do you like New York? Ouch. It's, 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 it's New York. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that it is. <laughs> that it is. It's a great town, right? Yeah. Spread in a new. No. There we go. <laughs> and, and Lucius, uh, you've you've won some uh, major awards, and you've uh, gotten a lot of media yesterday. Your manager Linda K. Moon was uh, telling me all about you. Tell us about some of the highlights of your career thus far. Um, I'm just been blessed. Uh, but other than that, uh, starting out playing, you know, uh, when I got into like the blues, I was fortunate enough to play. Start touring with this guy, uh, and Larry, Larry, Larry Tati Davis, Davis yeah, 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 wrote Texas Flood, and Fenton Robinson was, uh, he wrote, uh, as the years go passing by, a bunch of Arkansas, uh, blues, man, see, I'm from St. Louis originally, I went to Arkansas going to college, and 
when I quit school and told my mom I was joining a band, she said, hey, pack your stuff. We're coming to get you now. Wow. wow. But after they saw, came down and saw that it was real, you know, they kind of. Any, any regrets or you, you think you made the right whatsoever. choice? None, None whatsoever. None whatsoever. Okay, okay. None whatsoever. And uh, a mutual friend, Jim Coppell, uh, hooked this up as right, well. Right, a good guy, right. good musician. Yeah, I met him down in Clarksdale, Mississippi. There you go. There you go. Crossroads. Like, it was a crossroads, right? That area down there, Robert Johnson Crossroads. Wow. Let, the people, let the viewers know. The real deal, the real deal. Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do now is see a clip of you live in, in concert with a band. So uh, check this out, folks. And you were featured in the recent issue of uh, Living Blues, very prestigious, and uh, we just want to show your uh, page here. Multi-page article, very impressive. Thank and you. Uh, Thank you. Very impressive. And um, tell us about some of the highlights of your career. You've toured all over. You've played with some of the greats. Yeah, Albert King is wow. one of my all-time favorite. Uh, here lately, I've been getting with a bunch of like old Delta guys, like, T. Mile Ford, rest, you know, rest in peace. Um, it's a producer uh, lady from here in New York, Lee Quinby. Mm -hmm. They came down and shot a documentary called True Delta, like passing the torch. And um, it's to a Big Jack Johnson from Frank Frost and the Jelly Roll Kings. And so is that going to be seen, that, that documentary? Or? Well, it's, it's out already. Uh, oh. Nice. I guess you, you probably can order one from my website, lucidspiller.com, and go like to Delta Bohemian. And uh, it's, it's like I say, it's a link on there for it. So, um. Okay. And I know you have a bunch of gigs coming up in New York uh, yeah. over the next few days. Yeah. Uh, you, would you like to plug a few, or should they just go to your website and uh, <laughs> go to, just go to my website? I know one of the places is uh, the Red Lion. Well, if they go to, oh, if they go to your website, to website it, it's all listed. It. I saw it on there. That might be easier for everybody. And yeah. what's, it, what's it like playing in New York? Uh, the at the Bitter End. Yeah, there you go. Help me out now. I know those names because I have quite a few musicians coming to my show. So you said Terra ter ter Blues, too? In Shrine. Oh, I love that place. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Oh, Help me out. Oh, that's so cool. That uptown, beautiful place. That oh, so Downtown and Uptown Club. Yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Those, yes. Are, those are the great clubs. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. And uh, that voice you just heard was not God. That was his manager, Linda K. <laughs> Moon. Linda, <laughs> that's right. Right in front of me. Look, she's right there. She's so cool. She's going, Bitter End, Shrine. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Got the names down. So, so how's it feel to play in New York? Um... It's just like playing anywhere else. Just like know, anywhere. Just, the crowd's yeah. no different. No different no than different. a juke People joint down South. People are the same everywhere you go. There I you got go. a good friend upstate New York named Jim Wolf. Okay. Mm. Jimmy Wolf, blues guy. And he used to uh, play rhythm with uh, Larry Davis and I when we were coming up. That's how I knew him. So I sent a shout out to Jimmy. Um, and uh, other than that, it's just like, you know, people are the same. I just love to play music. There you go. I've been blessed. Now let me ask you. Man. Can I ask? Uh, can of I, course, that's what you're uh, here let for. Let me jump in, because that's what I'm yeah. here for. Come yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's the hottest women? You've been around, you've been traveling, right? What about the South, the North, New York? What do you think of New York New women? Think they're tough, they're bitter? Because, you know, men have different ideas. I don't know. Well, you try to be hard, but I break down through that. I can break <laughs> yeah. through that. that <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm a tough <laughs> yeah. cookie. I don't know if you can break me down that easy. No, I ain't time, trying right? to break it down. Just crumble you off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, it's but no, you're very nice. No, yeah, I'm but, a Robin uh, Murray woman, of course. But uh, but I'm talking about women, man. What? Well, yeah. the kind of about? women, hey, it's, it's, it I don't know. It ain't about the women. They just the same. People are the same everywhere. Really? Just different people. It takes all kinds, you know. Mm-hmm. And I've been blessed and fortunate enough to be able to communicate with all kinds. That's good. There you go. Are you, are you travel? Do you? Gig overseas as well, like in Europe. I know, we're, getting, we're lining that up now. You know, oh, how exciting! That's my CD. It's like number tw uh, my acoustic blues CD, "Born to Sing the Blues." It's like number twenty-one in UK's top one hundred blues CD. Wow, right oh, that's now. exciting! Good. So, congratulations. So, what we're going to do is take a brief commercial break, and when we come back, Lucius is going to do a full set for us. It's going to be gonna hot. He's going to bring yeah. the house down. That's right, Lucius Spella. Up He's next, a killer. Folks. He's, He's a, a killer. killer, Linda. Killer guitarist, killer singer. <laughs> That's Lucy right. Lucy Spiller. Okay. Don't go anywhere. The lady folks. killer. No. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville and run Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkman, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Here we go, and again, going back to business with the men of the hour, too sweet to be sour. <laughs> Let me tell you, you have a lot of energy. Talk about me, you have a lot of energy. Lucius Spiller. Thank you. Did I say it right? Yeah. All right, you're so quiet when I come close to you. Then you're talking <laughs> to me, then I come close to you, and you're like mute. I think you're fantastic. Can I Make 
make you do right. It's one of my rhythms, right? I called you hurt me.
I'm gonna play this one here for the people at Madhouse. I'm gonna send this out to you. Get in, what? Wait a minute. Thank you very much. 
shook me, baby. Shook me all night long. You know you shook me, baby. Shook me all night long. The way you shook me, pretty baby. Mess up my happy home. It made me want to sing a little muddy water right here. Go run. Said I wish I was a catfish swimming in a deep blue sea. I have all. You New York City women, yes, I will. Swimming after me. Well, I went down to my girlfriend's house. And I sat down on her front step. She said, Louis, <laughs> oh, Lucia Spiller, come on in here, boy. Yes, the girl did. Cause my husband just left. Oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> to commercials guys we'll be right back Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Dow. We have a multidiscipline practice in Melville, and Cockman, New York, and we treat patients with many, many different conditions, from newborns, 
through geriatric patients with numerous different techniques. Uh, there's a technique and a, a type of treatment for every class of patient. We have them all here. Here's my son Thomas, also a doctor of chiropractic, working on one of our patient's cervical spine. This patient has had chronic neck pain for many, many, many years, has been to a multitude of different practitioners with little or no response. And with our specialized techniques, she has improved tremendously and continues to improve on a daily basis. Uh, we have two practices, one in Melville and one in Ronkonkoma, New York. We are a multidiscipline um, chiropractic office. Uh, what that means is we have chiropractors, massage therapists, acupuncturists, psychologists, um, all working as a team and a network of outside professionals such as orthopedists and neurologists uh, that we work hand in hand with to help determine what your injuries are and the best way to uh, treat your injuries. Um, I have the great pleasure of having my son in practice with me. Uh, we work hand in hand, father and son, to give our patients the best care possible um, and a staff which is loving, caring, um, and you'll never have to wait at all in our office for service. Many times patients come into our office and they have what's called a soft tissue injury. Soft tissue injuries are like scars inside your body. If you've ever been cut on the outside of your body, you get a scar. The same thing happens inside of your body to your muscles and ligaments. So our job is to determine where those are, stretch the muscles, adjust the vertebra back into their correct position, and then refortify the normal structure with um, exercise. That's what we do best, and I hope someday you'll come see us at one of our two offices. Thank you. Lucius Piller, man, you were absolutely phenomenal. The old house, that's the real deal. You're going to be on Sunday in the bitter end, as far as I'm concerned. Correct, Linda? And then a week after, it's going to be in the Red Lion. Uh, the and day after. The day after, my goodness. And then Shrine. That's a, such a great club. I love it. But anyway, we have now my poet here, John. He's going to bring the house down in a different way. Thank you, John. How are Thank you? Thank you. I'm doing good. You like the music? Yeah, great music. Pretty powerful. So, in 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 the spirit of, yeah, in the in the spirit of uh, the month for women, I'm going to read three poems about women that I think talk about the beauty, the mystery, and the strength of women. And this first one's called, "Who Knows What Resides Behind Those Eyes." 10,000 letters dance across a frayed metal page molded to the fabric of a chair. Legs twisted like ancient dangling vines in a fertile rainforest. Her laugh echoes as shadows passing one another in a canyon of battles. Twilight as a crow's wing turning within the arc of a fountain hovers like a cloud of crystallized smoke. The sorrow of ages imprints blisters on fingers too crippled to grasp. From open pores, oxygen and tenderness awaken in cool evenings as moonlit whispers walk upon walls. What is passed from a seagull's outstretched white wings? An endless circle, miles from the sea, soaring through deadened concrete fields, seeking fortune in a grain of sand. And this is going out for Chrissy Arnold in, in, me in memory, rest in peace. To lie beneath a pillow of stars. A soft breath of light burns across the window, across the window glass. 
through which all illusion shatters, evening shudders, cool electricity upon a restless town, thoughtless dreams where innocence roam blindly, unknown dangers tempting, drinking moisture from the air with 10,000 inflamed tongues. A young woman walks down to the river, the soft, cool air upon her face, remembering when winter was pleasurable, laughing in the snow, gazing upon a night sky beneath a pillar of stars, the glass that once held together, now splintered, her reflection a glimmer of a dying candle, smoke slowly encircling her eyes, takes one last breath from a filtered cigarette and rises to seduce the shadows. This one has no title, this last piece. Two girls from Eritrea ask me to take their photograph. I sit in the center of the city. The buzz of Times Square seems alive, electric, non-stop images, an actress slipping into a pair of Levi's, a film crew from India telling everyone to please not look into the camera. I sit across the table. You've told me about the cancer. That sunken, defeated look crosses your beautiful brown eyes. Once a gypsy, always a gypsy. That's what I say. At least I get a smile, the beginnings of a laugh. Here in the center of the universe, I sit powerless, unable to do anything. Yet I know that sometime in the quiet of night, the terrors will sink in, and with it tears. The phone will ring, and I'll attempt to tell another joke. Thank you. of smoke, Angel Rodriguez. This is for the ladies. I like it. Yo, this goes out to my mom. Son to my mother. She made me who I am today. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Mi madre, te amo. We were growing up on welfare. You hustled for survival. None can touch your love. For this there is no rival A smiling mother's heart As she gave that warm embrace Surviving through those struggles None could ever take your place The one who scared my youth A love that was so true Poverty, madness, the suffering that we knew But mama held strong Pushing forward for the kids Kept us from those gangs and those drugs in the street I saw the constant sacrifice Working hard every day for the fancy sneakers and to keep food on the plate My father, yeah he sometimes came around But dear mama, you're the one who held it down For you I write these words expressing all my gratitude I survived those nasty streets and I owe it all to you Dear mama, dear mama like you there is no other Dear mama, dear mama I swear I always love you Dear mama, all those things that you did Dear mama all the pain that you hear, dear mama 
Like you there is no other You raised me to a man As a father and a mother Dear mama All those things that you did Dear mama All the pain that you hid Dear mama Like you there is no other You raised me to a man As a father and a mother 12 in the AM I'm looking for your boy But I was playing around You know the streets they were my toy I was nowhere to be found Misbehaving with my clique Mama search and search, worried herself sick Two in the AM still, looking for your son I'm in the back of Pancho's house, I'm talking trash and shooting guns With a pistol in my hand With my mother's striking hand I hung with people's parties, Zulu kings and nietas too But mama knew what's up and she forbid me from that crew You got it every day, you're the sun to my earth And I ended up okay Mama, thanks for your concern For you, I write these words expressing all my gratitude I survived those nasty streets And I owe it all to you, dear mama Like you, there is no other I swear I always love you Dear mama All those things that you did Dear mama All the pain that you hear Dear mama Like you, there is no other You raised me to a man As a father and a mother Dear mama All those things that you did Dear mama All the pain that you hear Dear mama Like you, there is no other You raised me to a man As a father and a mother My little sister singing, by the way. This one goes out to my kid's mom. Check. Extra, extra, come and read all about it. I'm spilling out my soul, these things becoming a habit. The words don't flow as quick as my man Charlie Scott, but that don't mean that I won't try to share a bit of my thoughts. So let me talk about the time that I married you too. I was young, ignorant, and acting a fool. I broke your heart. Idiot messing around, I broke your heart. But it all came about. I'm so wrong. There's nothing else I can say. I still apologize for the way I behave. We have a son. <laughs> Such a beautiful man, you know I got your back for the rest of my life And I apologize to you for the things I did wrong Grateful every day that your mind was so strong Always been around, appreciate what you've done And will forever share a bond, I'm thanking you with a song You know, when I'm awake, I can control this And when I go to sleep, it's like they take over, you know, my demons I saw forever in my dreams that's how the demons speak to me Wonder where my dreams may lead And do you ever think of me Visions of your smiling face The way you hit all the heartache And as your memory fades away I'm remembering how I loved you Never think we'd end this way I'm wondering about which words to say But you won't listen anyway I had a chance and I blew it, smiling, acting nonchalant As you suffered all right through this Though I'm sure you can relate We've all been through some heartaches The different ways it manifests No one can prepare for this Do I need to say the rest? I'll take forever and a day Make me forget the way of your pretty little smile And the way we used to play All the things you used to do and the words we used to say forever I'll forever carry this Those opportunities I missed I carry burdens on my shoulders Walking on, I feel disgraced I'm living every single day Force a smile upon my face I saw forever in my dreams That's how the distance speaks to me Wonder where my dreams may lead And do you ever think of me? You said the silence is your friend And that's the way you cope with this All the heartache in your chest It's a form of self-defense As you're pleading for the fifth You leave me in the dark like this I reach out and feel my way It's like I lost my soul that day And I've been searching ever since While I often reminisce As I'm dreaming of descent So continues my descent This time was spiral makes me scream I had this love you can't contain, now only memories remain 
while my dreams you still invade I'm the freshest in that state Wake his tears run down my face Like the moss he could be breath It's time to face another day A plastic smile upon my face In the moment I remain While I keep them going the same And your trauma takes a break I seek refuge in the day The only place I'm feeling safe From the way you make me feel While my thoughts you rob and spill I'm keeping up with the charade My true feelings I conceal I saw forever in my dreams that's how the demons speak to me. Wonder where my dreams may lead. Yeah. Do you have a big of me? Nathan P. It's a world go round. My little sister Nelly B on this one. Four little a little letters. more fun song here. L O V E. Love. Love. Yeah. Walking down the street and it's the same old song You weren't looking for attention that somehow went wrong Was it the smile on your face that could make my head spin? The glow of your eyes made my heart skip a beat Words unsaid but they made it to your ears You were reading all my thoughts as you stood over there Your pretty little face is dominating my mind I'm asking for your time but you ain't hearing my lines Sitting on the bus you see me smiling at you Something hopeful in my eyes, a conversation on soon I'm working up the courage, fight the doubts in my mind your smile brings me back, it's just a matter of time As your lips parted slightly, I can see you exhale I wanna take you in, so I deeply inhale I watch you part your hair, you hold my gaze and I'm gone I see you flash a smile, I see my effort ain't lost, how? Now this next one is actually a spoken word piece by my man Nathan Pete And I'm gonna try to do my brother justice Because of all those things you do Oh, so many things Like the way you tell a joke <laughs> Either G-rated or racy blue So blue I'm feeling you yeah. I'm feeling you You have your head on straight Good lord Living your life at a determined pace I think you need to know You found a place So let's see, I found you In my heart And girl, when we apart I'm feeling it. I need you. Yeah. When I show you, my heart is filled with sorrow. Now I'm gonna give you guys a little Latin flow right here. For lo que hablan español. Check it. El cariño que yo traigo en realidad que es sincero Yo te juro corazón que yo no vengo con juego Los días van pasando yo te guardo un recuerdo Las noches siguen frías mientras tú sigues lejos Lo veo todo claro que no tengo espejuelos Seguiré pensando en ti, soñando despierto Que te amo corazón, el piso está el cielo Que te quiero tanto, el piso está el cielo Shout out to all the ladies.